Hey guys, Luke here, and this is episode 21 of the Safford City Reds Crew Man Show. In this uh, this episode, uh, we're going to be taking on Witness Viking straight up, so we'll get straight into it. Pretty good good side there. They had uh, Yosefa at uh, hooker. Um, I can't remember who else was there. I just saw the team and I thought, pretty decent side. Um, I know Corey Thompson was there at fullback. Um, pretty good signing for them on this game. I know they're a really strong side. Uh, I think it was last season that it was uh, between us and them for minor premiership. I can't remember if they went on to win the premiership. I'm pretty sure they did. Um, but yeah, you don't want to give Broughton space here as he races away and he'll score. Um, once he sees open space, um, it's a try guaranteed. He's got so much space, um, so much pace, you can't catch him. It's absolutely deadly. So Price over here, it's not long on Price. It's because we started with a K. I'm not sure who it is. Maybe a brother or something. But uh, Paulie threw an intercept there after just getting the ball, but it's all right because they threw a forward pass straight away. Then Watkins does damage there to put Hall over, um, unmarked. And then Patrick will put Bruff through, um, usually the opposite way around, but yeah. And then Ward will pass it to Bird. Bird will offload to Broughton, and then back to Bruff, who was uh, one of the first ones to go through the gap. And he scores that. So we'll go to halftime 18 0 up, I believe. Tries through Bruff, Broughton, and Hall. And then Bruff keeps three out of three goals. So a uh, really good first half. Really, really strong first half. And then Kafusi there, Antonio Kafusi, I believe. Um, former Storm player. He just went through, sliced through. A bad road in defence, that's all it was. Um, and they made us pay. And they'll be looking to make us pay again here as Frank Winnerstein goes through a hole and then offloads it. I didn't see who it was to, but they do that. And Mortal pushed off one, got it to Broughton, who then passed it to Pritchard. And a really good tackle by the winger. You back Pritchard 10 out of 10 times against the winger, but somehow they stopped him. And then Wild here, uh, he's a really good uh, try scorer. You could argue that he got the ball down there, but he didn't and held up. But Wardle pushes off one, gets tackled over the line, but he does get the ball down. And it's 24-12. We uh, get back the lead. Then we throw it. Well, we didn't throw a stupid intercept, but uh, there was a knock on through an offload. Um, but we held we held them up in the tackle, gave away a penalty, which let them back into the game. They scored to bring it 24-18, but that's as close as they got. Um, quite disappointing that we had an 18-0 lead, which in the end we only ended up winning by six. But uh, they did have a pretty good side. Justin Paul was the one I was looking at in the front row for them. So here's all the other results in the league uh, for round 11 and here's the last game of this episode and it's against Hull I guess Hull FC because if it's Hull KR they have the KR there so uh, yeah here's our lineup same as usual I don't think we have any injuries uh, bench might be a bit different that's that's all that would be but so Hull they have Tom Brusco I'm pretty sure he's a decent winger Shannon McDonald uh, I know he's played a fair bit of NRL and he's quite decent it's like Hera Miles there um, He's an okay player from memory, but not a great start for them. They kick it out on the full, which rarely, rarely happens uh, from the AI in this game mode. Well, not this game mode, but this uh, difficulty. So we got quite lucky there. They just score to equal things up. Ryan Hall should have cleaned that one up, but he didn't. And they weren't really lucky there. A pass to Murdoch Masilla, uh, four pass though, and then from that scrum we put Walk into a hole. And I said before that uh, he feel it feels like I'm playing with Craig Inglis with uh, Watkins and he's pretty quick too so uh, a race away, a runaway try 12-6 and then Horn goes through a gap there it's one on one with the fullback, Owen brings him down but the play won't end there Teremiah passes it off to the person next to him they put up a bomb and then they score uh, quite disappointing and then right on the brink of half time he took a shot at full goal uh, may as well with the wind behind us but just a little bit too far out, a little bit too rushed um, yeah, and it looked like Gareth Ellis in that side there. I don't know if that was him, but um, I thought that was him walking off the field. It's 12 at half time. We have Ruff and Watkins scoring for us. And I think it was Briscoe there who uh, got the offload away. He found the ground. Really shitty try to concede that one. I was quite annoyed. And right at the, uh, right at the brink of full time, really, Hall gets put into a gap. Tries that little thing where he goes in and out. We do get tackled, but is that the end of the play? No, it's not. Hodgson will go in and he'll score from dummy half and then we got a really important kick here from Denny Bruff. Can he kick it? We'll have to see. No he cannot and that will be a win to Hull. Um, really disappointing to lose that one as I felt it was a very winnable game. I mean in fact all games are winnable for us let's be honest but um, 
You know what? It can't be too disappointed. We tried very hard. They just had more possession, um, more completions, and with completions like us, you're not going to win anything. But that's coming to the end of the episode, guys. Here's the results from round 12, and the league table will come up soon. And there it is, top of the table still. And uh, that's the end of the episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye.